But moving now to Burlington County, New Jersey, where the snow is starting to fall at a pretty good clip. Now, it is news reporter Cleve Bryan joins us live from Bordentown. So, Cleve, how's it there? Well, we pulled over into that rest area uh, in Bordentown off 295. And you can see the snow is coming down very quick. Visibility not great. And the snow sticking to the roadway here on I-295. Uh, we passed an accident just a little while ago. And we see that cars are moving quickly, but they really need to be careful. And right here in the rest stop area, there is a couple of these plow trains that have pulled over as they go over their equipment. I saw some of the guys uh, tightening up some of the bolts and different mechanisms on the plows on the front, make sure that they're on there tight as they get uh, ready for the worst of the storm to pass through. Now, just about an hour ago, I took some video of an accident right about a mile south of where we are. That was just north of exit 57 on 295. There was an accident involving a pickup truck and a tractor trailer. Now, fortunately, New Jersey State Police tell me that there were no serious injuries associated with this accident, but we saw that the front of the pickup truck was pretty smashed up. It was spun around, pointing in the wrong direction off to the shoulder of the road, and they did have to close down two, road, two lanes on the road. Uh, in New Jersey, there is a state of emergency, which means that travel is uh, at a minimum, and there are restrictions for commercial vehicles. So that's your tractor trailers, RVs, uh, any of these vehicles uh, that can avoid I-295 and many of the other highways. They want them off the highways, actually pull into rest stops is what they're calling for from state police. So we will continue to monitor the situation along the highways. We expect to hear from Governor Murphy later today uh, about the state of the roads in New Jersey after he declared a state of emergency. And uh, it is coming down pretty good on the roadways. So definitely be careful and stay off the highways if you can. Live in Bordentown, Cleve Bryant, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve.